This is the early edition of Marshall Brown Boxing Sweet, Swine, Sweet Science 2.0. Uh, I'm going to be going live today with the one and only Ebony, the Blonde's Bomber, who's right on time. Let me get you in right on time. There she goes. Let's get in. And I'm just waiting for the, the future world champ to come on in. And there she is. Finally. <laughs> Yay. How you doing? What's up, champ? How you doing? I know. Hold on. I feel like the. I don't. Uh, yeah, I don't, hold on a second. Uh, okay. I feel like we were <laughs> lagging for a second. I'm back. So, you, how do you feel? Okay. I think the Wi Fi is really bad. Hold on a second. Okay. It is coming in and out. We're here. I don't know what's happening. Should I go in and come back out? You still there? Oh man, we lost her. All right, we're gonna try it again. We're gonna try it again. Send me another request if you're there. There she go. Nope, that's not her. I need another request from you if you're there. We're gonna try it again. There she goes, let's see. Hopefully it works. I see, I see the request. And I'm waiting for it to accept. There she goes. <laughs> okay. All right. We, we good. Hopefully this we works good. now. We're good. Sorry. Yeah, that's good. It, for All 30 right, seconds cool. or whatever it's going to give us. So how yeah. how are you? How are you? I'm good, you know. Um, it's been, you know, pretty whirlwind, crazy few weeks. Um, I'm just coming down from it all now and just settling in back into training this week um, and, you know, eating clean and stuff. So, yeah. Good. So, um, where do you call home now? <laughs> I don't even know. Well, obviously, home is Australia. Right. Um, I'm and I'm doing my camps in Philadelphia. Um, and yeah, I'm still in the UK at the moment, so I'm looking to head back to Philly for, soon to start camp properly. But there's just so a bit be, of issues. Oh, so you'll be you'll be close to me this time. Yeah. In, in Philly, yeah. Yeah, so, for real. Because usually, usually I just finish finish my camps in Philly. So usually I'll just do like two, three weeks there. Um, right. But now I'm going to go there for like a full camp, which is I think, definitely necessary. Got you. And do you feel like, do you feel like, because um, me and you, you and I talk via DM back and forth. And we, we kind of had a um, almost, I had an understanding that you had a strategy going into that fight. And I was actually all for the strategy because I thought it, it would work. But do you think that you may have underestimated her a little bit? Um, yeah, definitely um, would have underestimated her a little bit. Um, There's a lot of things with that fight. Like, I don't make excuses, obviously. Um, but there was a lot of things that fight that obviously changed the, the projection of that fight. Like getting a pretty bad head clash um, at the beginning, like earlier on in the fight. And like, that's obviously getting cl head clash like that, you know, you don't, you don't get a count or anything, right. <laughs> you know what right. I mean? So then that's, right. that's, you know, has effect on your, on your head. And then, um, I also like, you know, I was working in Philly, um, with Brian and Kaylee. And then, um, when he came over, my home coach came over and he was mainly my corner and, and that was a little bit conflicting as well. So, um, there was that, you know, there was a lot of things, obviously can't, couldn't really see the last few rounds, but I don't make excuses. You know, I actually, um, still fought as, as hard as I could, but there was obviously some things that I think, um, I should, I, you know, like any fight that you have, you always reflect, I should have done this, should have done that. But, um, you know, um, given the situation, these circumstances, I don't think it would have, I, I don't know if it could have gone any better. Um, mm -hmm. I actually watched the fight a few times and I scored it myself. I mean, I mean, at the worst, I give myself five rounds, but, um, I still can see myself winning six rounds if there's a sway round either way, you know, but, um, how the judges gave me only a couple of rounds, I don't know. <laughs> um, 
Like, right. Yeah, I think well, I'm just counting. I, 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 yeah. Sorry. No, go ahead. Yeah, I feel like they were just counting output and not taking notice of defense. <laughs> well, I, I mean, I think there's a little bit of home cooking in, involved in that too. But, but um, I think you two put on an amazing show. I think you two catapulted women boxing into the stratosphere. You yeah. alone with your, you know how many men would have used that eye as an opportunity to stop, to quit. And you kept, listen, I'm not saying this because I said this to people that I spoke to. I said, I knew she was a bruiser. I knew she was a banger, but you proved that you were tough. Mm. And it's not just about looks and all the lingerie and all that. That stuff sells fights. But exactly. you proved <laughs> that you can get in there and bang. And yeah. I think that raised your stock, which leads to my yeah. next question. Who's sliding in your DMs trying to get you now? As far as promoters <laughs> and stuff. Uh, um, it's, you know, my manager said there was a few um, Americans, but um, I said that obviously I'm interested in Eddie Hearn. Um, I think that working with Eddie's, I think we, I like his promotions. I like how he does business. Um, I like what he's doing for women's boxing. So personally for me, um, unless the, you know, Americans were going to offer, you know, a lot more money than I, I was, would never have gone with them, I don't think, especially being that Matchroom is global, you know, they're going all around the world. Um, you know, they have that partnership with DAZN. I just, you know, he doesn't mind putting on female fights as a co-main, you know, or, and he's, right. he's real for it. Um, right. I, and I feel like th there's genuinity there with um, Eddie Hearn and the support of women. I feel like some other promoters, they just do it to join the wagon, but they're not really, behind really them. behind it. They just do it because they have to. There's 2021, right. you know, yeah, yeah, but yeah. I feel like. I feel like there's some genuinity there with Eddie and I believe that he believes that women's boxing is a thing. And, you know, obviously I proved that um, everything I did was I knew how I fight. Like I told you, you know, I know how I fight. I know what I can do. And that's why I pushed the fight so much. Um, that's why I did everything I, I did to get as many views as I could, um, get as many people tuning in, not just boxing fans, because I knew that watching me fight, whether or not, it doesn't matter if it's Courtney or anyone else, I know the way I fight and it's always exciting. So I knew that... Um, my fight style is a fan fan friendly fight style that I'm the kind of fighter that you'd watch and you would just start to like boxing if you didn't before. So I personally, obviously when it, not, I purposely didn't, you know, I pushed it, um, you know, and, get, and, and that's get, another, that, that was another one of my, my questions because a lot of people that I spoke to that know boxing, that's in the boxing, they had an opinion. The opinion was that based off of your, prior fights um you technically didn't have the resume to be in there for a title shot and i said mm -hmm. in your defense did she look like she was outclassed did she look like she didn't belong so there's a i have a saying that resumes matter but do they really because you proved that you belonged in the ring yeah and you did exactly what you did well, you know, the problem is, is these people that are saying that, they're not, they obviously don't know anything about women's boxing. Right, right. You know anything about, you know, that people are getting title fights in their fifth, fourth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth fight. That's normal in women's boxing. Um, we're not men. We don't have a big pool. And usually most boxers, men or women, their first five to ten men, 15, sometimes 20 <laughs> fights right. are built for right. You know what I mean? Right. Absolutely. So of course, me, so of course, me at, at five fights doesn't have um, a resume that might look good, but it doesn't mean it's because I'm a prospect. You know right. what I mean? You don't throw a prospect in, into the deep end on their first, second, or third fight. You don't do that. Right. It's a it's a strategy to it, but it doesn't mean I can't fight. It's just the building skills for for the pro boxing, um, which was fine, which obviously proved that I know how to box and I box like a pro. I box like a Mexican, <laughs> and I've been right. saying that the whole time. <laughs> Look like an amateur boxer. I didn't come out of Team GB or Team USA or Team Australian Boxing and look like an amateur in and out on my feet dancing around. I don't do that. I go in there and I fight. You know, um, you would have seen like even my short movements, the little movements that I have, my my head movement, my parries, my my slipping. You know, it's um, it's a very specific kind of style. 
Um, right. Something that I've always been working so, on, always worked on. So, so, I mean, you you just fought for a title, and you refer to yourself as a uh, a prospect. Do you still see yourself as a, a prospect? I think you're yeah, a contender. I mean, yeah, well, definitely. You know, I've just had a world title fight. I definitely think I'm a contender. Um, you know, um, I suppose I would use the word prospect because such a, um, what's the word? Like a baby, like, you know, small career, you know, right. um, with only having five fights. You know, that's why I would call it a prospect. But, yeah, now I've had that world title fight and, and I put on that performance. And I'm telling you right now, if I – and I don't make excuses, but if I had two fucking eyes for more, for more <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? Like right, my right. eye, like in the seventh and the eighth round, it was like this and it was like blurry and watering. And then the ninth round, it was closed. Um, and my corner's yelling out things to me in the ninth round and tell me to do shit. And I'm thinking, fuck, I can't see it. Like I can't do it. So then after the ninth round, you know, you hear it in the corner. I went back to the corner and said, hey, just so you know, like I can't see. So, right. you know, and it's, and, and it's, and it's not... <laughs> Yeah, and it's not because, hey, I can't see, call me out. It was like, I can't see, so we need something. We need a different t strategy. We need a different, I need different directions because I can't actually fucking see. You know what I mean? Right. So, um, but yeah, like, um, I think it was pretty, I, I feel like it was even up to there. I actually think that, um, the. I think it was, yeah, even um, up until the eighth, if I'm being like non-biased, and I think that I won the tenth. So I think it was a draw, to be honest, the way I'm, that that's without being biased right. to myself. I thought it was a pretty clear draw, but I think that um, you could have swayed. So so now you 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 you've expressed your interest with working with Eddie. Has he reciprocated that? Yeah, 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 yeah. We've been in talks. Um, you know, Eddie's not dumb. <laughs> right. You know, I right. think he knows. I think he knows that um, that you know, I can make you know. I, I'm making waves and that, you know, people want to, um, want to see me, you know? So, um, as long as we can all come to an agreement, then I'm sure that that will be going for forward with Matchroom. So if that goes with Matchroom, she's with Matchroom. That was an exciting fight. Are we looking at a possible rematch? I don't know if I want a rematch. I mean, <laughs> like, you know, she should give me a rematch. Like, um, I don't know. What what else is she gonna do? Who else is she gonna fight? Um, Ball, obviously she's gonna fight Ball. Um right. and she, she might have to fight a mandatory or, or another champion. Right. Have have fun with Luna, you know, have right. fun with Roman <laughs> Cecilia Roman. You know right. what I mean? Like right. I think for her fighting me makes sense money wise. Um Oh sure. And sure. you know, but you know, obviously it's what I want. Um but, whether but, or not you and, you know, I don't know if she wanted... Yeah, like, you know, giving me a full camp. Because, remember, I only had four weeks. Right, for this, for this right, fight. right. You took the so giving me a full, giving me a full camp and not going between three continents and three different change three different time zones in three weeks. Because right. remember, I went from Australia to Philadelphia. I was in Philadelphia for three, so three weeks, and then I flew to the UK. So that was, like, three different time zones, right. three different countries. Right. In, in like the four weeks plus only a four week camp i think things would be a little bit different you know obviously if i had to have it all out i think um as much as i don't like to make like i don't make excuses and i have said it to everyone but they've all said to me you know like these little things that could be a 10 percent you know the 10 percent that could to, could push you through so we'll see and hopefully the next time i have that fight um if it happens which um i'm gonna keep putting it out to the universe that needs to happen because I'd love to have that. Well, look, you put yourself in that just... position. You put yourself in that position to get it the first time. So I, yes. after this performance, it's either they don't want that kind of smoke or they just have to give it to you. And you have to yeah, be, yeah. You, you would have to be, um, I would say, proud of yourself because of what you've accomplished with only five fights. And people might say what they want to say about a resume, but Everyone wants to see you now. That yeah, performance. Yeah, you know, I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, look like you know. Of course, I mean, I don't know if they really want to see her. Um, I know that they want to see me because my style's um, it's it's entertaining, you know, and it always will be. Um, you know, I've only been a pro for like two and a half years. I've been boxing for four and a half years. Like, pff, had my first boxing fight four and a half years. So of course, I'm 
I'm definitely like very proud of how far I've come, but I feel like it's still just only the beginning. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Give me another year of boxing. You know, I make a massive improvements. Um, I think she was judging me. She, well, she, first thing she said to me after she kind of didn't want to hug me and all that kind of stuff. First thing she said to me, um, wow, I, I really underestimated you because she would have looked at the only fight really that's online is a fight I had. It's like my second fight that I came back after eight month rehab for snapping my ankle in my first fight. Right. <laughs> and, um, you know, learning how to walk and stuff again. So, and that we was, was like we, me and you used to talk during that time. Yeah. 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 When I had my, like, yeah. yeah. Um, and that was like over a year. And a half. So, yes. you know, that's the kind of stuff studying and, and expecting me to come out like that, man. If I still box how I did a year and a half ago, if anyone doesn't change that or improve in that long, then I mean, should they really be boxing? I don't know. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. So, so now that fight is behind you. The future seems bright. I think there's great things for you. How much has your life changed since that fight? Did 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 do you get more recognition? Do you I mean how how has it affected you in, in a positive way? Oh man, like I mean I always got a bit of love anyways, but there was obviously hate and doubters. But I feel like all the hate and all the all the doubters have now turned and the ones that haven't turned you're just going to hate me no matter what. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's their, that's their own problem. Yeah. But, you know, pe people never saw me. I didn't put anything up. I purposely never put stuff up. I don't put, post things, um, sparring or fights, because um, I just don't think I need to do that. I need to prove myself. I knew I'll prove myself in the ring when I get the chance to do it. Um, and um, the people that probably wanted me to see if I, if I was any good, but they had their doubts because they hadn't actually seen anything and they just judged me by the way I look and whatever. Um, I know I've turned a lot of those opinions, which is really good. I, I like that and I appreciate that. Um, I appreciate um, obviously all the new the new love and the new fans and, and the fans that I was able to get in that aren't boxing fans, you know, people that people just like normal people just talking about the fight, you know, because it right. got such a mainstream interest. You know, because of the way the because of the way I promoted the fight, because of the way I am and also because of Obviously, the, gr the gruesome eye that I had that made all the papers as well, which made people want to look at it. So, I mean, I'm happy that I was able to put women's boxing on a, on on a back, you know. So, in a sense, I know there's girls that, st that do do it before me, but I think being able to put it in, on in a different way and getting more views, I'm very pleased with that. Um, I'm obviously, you know, here in the UK, I walk around and um, I get a lot of love just in the in the streets and stuff, and you know, that's pretty unreal. I'm not sure how it would be in Australia, obviously. Um, Australia's not huge on boxing, but we'll see when I eventually go back. But, um, yeah, you know, I'm having to make a lot of sacrifices. Um, I've got a boyfriend at home. You know, right. I've got family, I've got friends. And I'm right. kind of not really stuck over here, but I have to make that sacrifice because um, if, like, with Australia and how it is with COVID, um, if I go home, I have to spend two weeks in a, in a hotel and I've got to spend three grand just to sit in a hotel, you know, and then I get there and then what? come back for a fight you like it's just right. it's ridiculous yeah. so i mean it's just so uneconomic and and so it's just a waste of time so i've had to make some really hard decisions and pray that it all works out and everyone that's by me at home stays by me and just no, 100 um, you know? 100 and because a lot and of people that easy. don't know a lot of people don't know that you you had a career you have a career like you're a school teacher a math yeah. teacher and um yeah and you you chose this lifestyle and and you know, for your firsthand, it's expensive, it's time consuming, but you're chasing your dream. So which yeah. leads to my next question. How do you feel about the YouTube era? The guys that's jumping in boxing, that's making a big splash, making a lot of money, but didn't necessarily pay the dues that say somebody like you have to experience. When they leave, they get on a private jet and they, and they go, not, not that I'm knocking it, but that's what it is. Right. How do you feel about that? It doesn't really bother me. I'm pretty just focused on myself with that. Um, I mean, a lot of people can look at me and say, oh, she's only been boxing four years. Oh, she didn't do Team USA. She didn't do Team GB. She doesn't deserve it. She hasn't had 20 pro fights. She doesn't deserve it. You know, they say the same thing as me. But no one knows what I've been through and the hustle and the grind that I put on behind the scenes to get where I am right now and to actually, to actually speed up that process so I am where I am in such a short time. You know, like I've been grafting. Um, and, you know, so when I look at these guys, yeah, maybe they haven't grafted in boxing, but they've grafted in whatever they're doing. 
Correct. to get the name right. that they have. And they're putting right. their hard work and, and, they, and they're whatever they're in their thing to be able to have that name, to be able to right. get on these fights and make this money, right? So in a sense, they've still done the grafting, just not in boxing. And that's, that's fair enough. But you've got to look at it as what it is. They're not fucking boxers. So don't look at them and tune in and go, oh, I want to watch some boxing. Like, it's not right, what right, it is. Right. About. Like, if you're a boxing fan and you're tuning into Jake Paul or whatever their fucking names are to watch boxing, then that's your problem. You know what I mean? Right. What it is, is they're bringing eyes onto the sport, different eyes that aren't boxing, aren't boxing fans that could convert into boxing fans. You know what I mean? And that's what it's right. about. It's about bringing boxing into like a different market, into the mainstream. So boxing in the end, hopefully gets more fans because say they bring in a million fans, randoms, you know, and then you might have a thousand or might have 10,000, who knows? I don't know. Just saying numbers that right. actually watch the fights, maybe watch Lopez Cambosis and go, fuck, th look how mad this is. I've never watched boxing before, but wow, look at these guys. Or they tune in and they see someone like me, for example. I had that many messages and that many messages sent to people saying, I never watched women's boxing, but you made me tune in. Now I'm a fan. Okay. So Jake Paul and that, they might be doing that. I never watched boxing, but now I've tuned in and, and I'm a fan. And, you know, boxing fans, they, won't, they don't pop out of their mum's vagina, a boxing right. fan. Right. You know right. what I mean? They, right. they, they become a boxing fan over time for whatever reason. They might have right. just watched a fight. They might have watched, uh, you know, Bar Barrera Morales and being like, right. fuck yeah, I love boxing now. Or they might have right. watched AJ, you know, uh, uh, you know, Wilder Fury and gone, wow, like, that's a boxing fight. And with, with Jake, this Jake Paul, like, he's going to bring in people to watch boxing. And if they put the right undercards on, like, good fights, good fighters that you know are going to be exciting, then you're going to get new fans. So right, that's right. what it's about, and yeah, that's what yeah. I think. But I don't, I don't respect them for their for the boxing. I don't look at them like they're boxers. They shouldn't be fighting for world titles, which I'm pretty sure they're not fighting for world titles. As for the money not that yet. they're making, not yet. Yeah. But if the same hey, body can make money, they will. Yeah. Well, whose fault is that? But you know what I mean. It's not their fault. They're just they're right, doing their right. thing. You know what I mean? And, and it's it's it might suck, but that's just society. You know what I mean? And and views. And, and and commercial value is always going to win. So Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's the business. Boxing is a business. So, which leads me to the, my next question for you. Um, what's what's your end game? If if you did you set a um a, a parameter for if you don't exceed this by this or if you don't achieve this by this, do you have something like that or talk to me? I'm um, not not really um you know, I just want to keep fighting um, and keep putting on good fights and having good fights. Um, you know, I like to fight. Um, I don't want to really take fights um, that are not going to be exciting. Um, you know, obviously that's me. I've got a team right. behind me, but I, you know, um, I don't want to waste time fighting people that um, waste my, my time, so to speak, um, right. because I love fighting. You know, my style of fight is I actually like to fight. I like to have good hard fights and I like to entertain. And I've just proven that you can still lose and you can lose and still win. Um, you know, if you put on if you put on good performances and you come to fight and you know and you and you're skilled. So, um, yeah, I mean, obviously, I want to get titles. I'd love to win a, win a world title um, and have another shot at that. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't really have I have an end game. There's no real end game because there's always what's next. You know, so. But you have you have other talents. I know you can you can draw. I mean, yeah. you easy. You, you're very charismatic. You're outspoken. I mean, there's a possibility for some acting in the future. Are you open to stuff like that? <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I would. See, I could see it. I could see it. Yeah, yeah. I'm um, probably not acting. Um, because I this just sounds really weird because I don't seem like a kind person. But I'm pretty shy, especially when it comes to acting, because it's not me being myself. Um, right. I'm very obviously very loud and charismatic, and don't mind being in the center of its attention and all that kind of stuff because I'm just being me. But when I actually have right. to act and pretend to be something or someone or whatever, I get, I judge myself way too much. Like, Oh, am I doing it right? Or oh, I don't know. Right. What do I look like? How do I look like? So I'm actually pretty shy when it comes to that. Um, I was never good at acting or doing ads and stuff, but I would definitely get into like some um, commentating or um, pugless oh, kind yeah, of stuff yeah. because obviously I love boxing. Um, so that would be something I'd definitely look into, you know, like I'm kind of on the, the older side as well, you know, and I do obviously want to have yeah. a family. Um, Right. So yeah, I'm just gonna make the most of it, you know, um, while I can, and um, 
and then whatever comes next comes next. But I'm pretty sure whatever it will be, I'll still remain be able to have a big um, personality in boxing. And and so you did mention. I know you. I know you. I know you have a boyfriend. I know you have a guy at home. Yeah. But he must be a confident guy with all the guys that slide in your DMs and all the craziness that you get. But I know that you have a great relationship with him, and I know he supports you 100%. And I want to su salute the, the team behind the team because it's important that you have a good family structure to support you in your journey. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I mean, I couldn't imagine what it's like to be in his shoes. To be honest, it would be very hard. Um, luckily right. for him, he doesn't have social media um, <laughs> at all. Right. So he doesn't really... He, he he's kind of um, out of the loop with it all. He doesn't really follow my boxing or follow anything that I'm doing, um, to be honest. <laughs> just um, <laughs> So that's a good of, way to support. Uh, you know, like he does, like he just lets me do me and, and, and like he's very proud of me for, for what I'm doing. But yeah, like he doesn't, um, I don't think he gets right right into it. But um, yeah, I, I, it's probably good in a way because I don't you think just, you'd want to be going through my Instagram or yeah. my Twitter and looking at all the shit on there. <laughs> like you're just asking yourself, you're just asking yourself to be like wound up for nothing, you know what I right. mean? Um, but he's very confident. You know, we've been together for like nine years, so right. Um, yeah. You know, that's good stuff. So now you just mentioned. I'm not gonna hold you up, but uh, you just mentioned that you you want to start a family, and I think that's dope. Um, but but um, if your child or your daughter came to you and said, "Mom, you did it. I got the itch. I want a box." What are you telling her? Say, so fuck yeah, baby, you do whatever you want to do and I support it, whatever you want to do. Because people should be able to do whatever they want to do. And I'll make sure if she decides she wants to box, she's going to be the best fucking boxer. Because whatever you do, you got to be the best. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's good shit. That's good shit. Listen. If you're not first, you're last. <laughs> yes. That, that, but, but, but it's true. It's, it's, it's no second place. It, like, second place is the first loser in anything you do in life. And I agree with that 100%. So listen, Ebony, I appreciate you. We were supposed to do this a long time ago. I, I told know. Ryan, listen, I told Ryan, I said, listen, if she loses, I'm a teaser because everybody that comes do my show wins. So yeah. she should have came before she left. But uh. I, I said, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. But listen, I you know, always it's always been a hundred with me and you. A hundred percent support. We banter, we go back and forth, and I have nothing but respect and admiration for you. I right, listen. You are a warrior's warrior. Um, you My should probably change. Yeah, and, and you, you came, you're coming back pretty good. How, how does yeah. it feel, though? Can you see out of it? Do you have any, Ill, like, ill effects yeah. from that? Yeah, it's fine. I just, it's just very sore here um, because of the knock. It was a really, obviously, a very hard knock. Um, so yeah. I probably can't get a punch or be, like, touch it because it's still very sensitive. But obviously, the swelling's gone down. The red's gone from my eye. So that's good. Um, but yeah, I don't think I'll be sparring anytime like, for another week or two at least because I feel like if I get a knock, it'll just swell back up again. Yeah, it'll go right back up. Yep, yep. Yeah. So listen, I I support you again, 100%. Whatever, any you know my platform is your platform. Anytime you want to come talk crap, we, we here for it. Um, we want to build a fight, support a fight, sell a fight, whatever you want to do. I'm here for you. I support you 100%. I appreciate, no, I appreciate your time. You. Yes, and um, enjoy the rest of your night and we're going to catch up again. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for the ongoing support. I appreciate you. Peace. See ya. Thank you. And that was Ebony the Blonde Bomber. And I appreciate her time and I appreciate her for coming on. And thank you guys for checking in with me. Um, and I had to do this early. Normally, I like to do my, my interviews a little later. But I had to do this a little earlier because she's in the UK and I just want to, um, you know, accommodate her time because she's uh, five hours ahead of me. So, um, yeah, I'll take a I'll take a request quick fast. Let's see where you are. Who is this? I bet you they don't come in. Let's see. And thanks for everybody that uh, gave me, of course. Um, thanks for everybody that uh, that donated and gave me a thing. And yo, Barack, I see you. Uh, uh, I see your, your your comment, but I don't know if you're still here, but I appreciate you, brother. All right, I'm out, and we're going to catch up. Hey, if you want to see the uh, – if you just tuned in and you didn't catch the whole thing, I'm going to save it and upload it to my YouTube so everybody can go check it. 
I appreciate you. And listen, if you're following me, please go subscribe to my YouTube because I got Friday, I have another amazing young prospect coming on that's going to blow your mind. So please make sure you tune in. You're going you're gonna to want to see her. You're going to want to meet her. So um, tune in. And if you don't follow me, follow me, Boxer Sweet Science 2.0 on um, YouTube. I'm going to start being more active on it. So I appreciate you guys, everybody that tuned in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I, I really, really, truly, sincerely appreciate your support because you don't have to come here. It's Boxing Sweet Science 2.0 on YouTube. Um, so thank you. I appreciate you. I'm out. Monday before the fight. Wow. And I, I, and I, and I always in the phone. To, to, lo voy a decir en español, se lo traduce, ¿no? Este, en el teléfono, yo negocié toda la, la, negocié todo para que, para que lo soltaran. Tres días negocié con los para que lo soltaran, tres días. Y este, después de que negocié, todavía pensaba, dije, imagínate si fuera una, mi hija o mi mamá o mi papá, para mí iba a ser más, más difícil todavía. Y aparte tenía la pelea el sábado y mil entrevistas y todo, y, y nunca nadie supo nada. Pero eso es a lo que voy. Todos piensan, ay, que este, ya me ven ahí y piensan, ah, es muy fácil. Pero nada es fácil en esta vida. Todo es bien difícil. Were you concerned that he would never come home? I concerned, no, never I concerned that. But I, I always think, eh, this is the most difficult part for me because it's everything for me. Yeah. It's fucking difficult. I always text my primo, hey, say this, say this. And my primo said to me, oh, they, they, saw, they, they send this. And I tell them, tell this. It's so fucking difficult. Did you have to involve the police? Or no? Ne no. No? Never. Because it's even hard. Mexico. What what would have because made may, it? Because maybe they involved in, in, in that situation. Uh, did did you feel like that had happened, that the police were involved, or I you think, just weren't sure? I think so. When you when you hear, hey, my brother is with us what's the name? What? A uh, kidnap. Kidnap? You crazy. You going crazy. In that moment, you going crazy in that moment. But I, I have a fight in, in Saturday, and I think, okay, I want to have a resolution for this situation. In some point. But I, all my money is in, in the fight. Yeah. Did he end up being okay? That's Thank great. God. Yeah. Wow. Thank God, because it's, it's very difficult when, when you have that kind of things. Uh, your brother never come back. Right. Never. They die. And I have my brother. Thank yeah. God. But that probably makes you concerned for the rest of your family being here. I think about because that. You're hey, a I think about that. One day. About my brother, but uh, the other, I think about my 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 family. Right. And I say, oh my god, it's difficult. Would you want to move them to the states? I as would well? like, but it's difficult because they have her life here. It's difficult for me. I would like, but I they have their life here in, in Mexico. Yeah. I can't do it.